<laughs> All right, everybody. Why are we so excited? Why? Because we reached the 1,000 subscriber benchmark. This has been a challenge for us. We've been working really hard to make that happen, and we are super excited that it happened. So thank you all, all you subscribers and fans out there and viewers. We really appreciate it. Today, we're going to do a sequel to our last video, which was about Black Swan's Karma. That song is really going gangbusters, and we are super enamored with it. We got a lot of strong responses from a lot of great comments. Yes, and we thank just, you. We couldn't wait to do another video about them, and they just dropped a stage performance video of it, and it seems very good. So we're going to react to that today, and here we go. Uh-oh. Ooh, look at their outfits, Donna. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, one, two, show me what you like. Ooh, Ooh mics are on. Ooh, I can hear their voice, yeah. I like their vocal tone. Oh, God. Oh. Ooh. Hey. Donna, they look great. Yes. Oh. I love her vocal tone high. I love how their voices sound similar too. Mm. Oh, nice. Ooh. I love their outfits. Yeah. It's definitely drawing on the Indian heritage. Mm hmm. Ooh. And the hairstyles too. Uh huh. Ooh. Ooh, look at their eyes. Very sassy. So iconic, I love that. Ooh, look at those eyes. Ooh, Ooh I love this oh, <laughs> dance break. They've got some major hip game too. And these costumes really bring it out. Yeah, Tria's costume. Mm -hmm. So tasteful. This is very nice choreography here too that you don't see in the video. Ooh, yeah. Fine dance. I kind of like her more hazy vocal tone here. It's a little more alto, which you don't always hear in K pop. Mm hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know why. It always makes you laugh. I know. <clears throat> Man, Fatou's looks can kill. That's all I can say. Nice. Ooh. All right, Donna. Let's get into this. Yes. I loved it when we reacted to the music video. And I did take a look at some of the other stage performances. I don't know. This can't be much more than a few days later. And I don't know what they're doing, but they are they're locking in and yep. they are on some sort of fast track to turning this song into a hit. Yeah, I mean, I think on the other two, they are not wearing um, traditional costumes. Like in here, there's a little bit of a, um, a hint of inspiration from Indian clothing. And um, mm. and so that that is really nice. I think it does harken to some of the costumes that are actually in the video itself. I think they do also a little bit in the choreography, especially in the break, there's a little bit of um, traditional 
Indian movements. And I found out that Shriya, who her heritage is Indian, she actually trained a little bit in Odyssey dance. Mm-hmm. 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 A brilliant move to incorporate that into their concept. And as we have discussed in earlier videos about the Phrygian mode being used by K-pop and how it's been just become like a staple of the sound of K-pop. But, right. you know, there's never really been like a person of Indian heritage or Middle Eastern heritage in a K-pop group to really, I guess you could say justify it or, or make it so that it's somebody expressing their own cultural heritage in this way. So to me, this is a really perfect pairing. And, you know, we said in our thumbnail that the stars are in alignment. I feel like the trajectory of the K-pop industry, the global expansion of K-pop's influence internationally and an international group here, but working within the K-pop industry, being produced by a K-pop company, trained in Korea, trying to become a bona fide Korean K-pop group. Their Korean language, we watched their reaction to their own video. This one was really fun to watch. They were interviewing themselves. What did you do? My dance break was just like listening to the music. Which was a little bizarro, but <laughs> they were so cute and so lovable. Wow. Their personalities are so winning. They are just, there's a certain like humility with them that is, makes them so attractive, makes them just feel like an underdog that you can't help but root for them. And I definitely, I'm going to like them more and more. I mean, it's already becoming like, who's going to be my bias and like, uh, totally standing this group. We had speculated about this being the future of K-pop. We had a series on XG and we know that Hype's doing their global ghoul group and there's a lot of anticipation what's gonna happen with that. We think that XG loosened the pickle jar lid. I feel like Black Swan has taken the pickle jar lid off and Pandora's box is open and I can't wait to see where this is all going. Right, and they just have such great stage presence that you can see here and it's building the more experience they have. Some of them like Envy are very, very new to the group. They're training mm. as we speak and improving. Um, yeah, we're watching the bird f- like right. f- dropped out of the nest and flying, learning to fly in, you know, so there's a s- certain like, like, beautiful thing to watch and I feel like I can see their confidence surging. Right, and I think that something cosmic, uh, you know, something is aligning and I really love this composition of four members. They're very distinct, they have a lot of great charisma and I hope that um, this group seems like it's really gelling so I hope they stick around for a they long got time. These, they got great names, the, the timing seems right for this. All right, everybody. So thank you for watching us again. Again, thank you all for subscribing. If you're new to our channel and you like our videos, please subscribe. We'd love to have you as a subscriber. And if you have anything you'd like to share with us, some ideas, thoughts, your passion for this group, or, you know, how you feel things are going with the K-pop industry, leave us a comment and share it with us all.